Now before I jump into the casework, I just want to show you just another example of why you would want to start with one category and then switch to another category later on. This is a little bit of a trick, um, but if you want, ever want to create an elevator in Revit, now when you have an elevator, you're going to want to define where the elevator starts at the bottom and where, what level it actually goes up to. In the generic model uh, template, which is typically the template that you would want to use, because most elevators you're going to want to, it, them to be a generic model, um, they only have that one reference plane, like I showed you. However, there is a uh, template, the column template, that has both a bottom reference plane and a top reference plane. And so I can go to the front view here, and you can see I've got a lower and an upper reference plane. The column template is the only Revit template that has that. So what I can do is I can build my elevator and have this be the first floor serviced, and this can be the second floor serviced, or the top floor serviced. And then I can tell my elevator where to start and where to stop. It's very, very easy. And all I have to do now is switch it to a generic model, and I can build my elevator at, this, at that point. So that's just one more example of how you can start with one category and then switch to another for a variety of reasons, depending on what you want to do. So I'll exit out of that. We'll go to New and Generic Model, and now we will start building our piece of casework.